Well, hello there and welcome to my computer. I am just doing some platonic solace, very simple things like this one. Is this is very simple to do. Most of you might be try doing this one. It is a tetrahedron. Four sides, all are equilateral triangles, and they are three around each, three vertex of each corner. And we're gonna play around a bit. So I want to do this as simple as possible, no math, no angles or stuff, and some different ways of doing the dimension of it. So let's start. New file and a new sketch. We start, of course, with the triangles. We're going to do a polygon. Circumscribed from the middle and, of course, three sides. Somewhere around where I want it. And we're going to lock it down to horizontal make a helpline from this point straight down still like that gonna do that construction line and now we're gonna do that equal to the side now that's the easy part uh, we can dimension this by dimension n of the size but maybe for some reason you want to define it from the top to the flat surface or the, the height of it and to do that, we need to do some more sketching. So we're going to do a circle, construction circle. This is going to be the same as this circle here. So of course, this has the same radius as the side. Now we're going to do a line from the center point out to the circle. Yes, I do this a bit off because I prefer to constrain my things afterwards. Now, this line here, which I dimension here is going to be the height of a tetrahedron. So let's do it like uh, one, two, five millimeters. So now we are finished with our first sketch. So finish sketch. And now we're going to create our second sketch. We're going to do it on a plane that goes through one of the points. And yeah, so we're going to use this one. I'm going to do some projections because I'm going to need this point, I like the midpoint and this point. We're going to do a circle, make it a construction circle from here to here. Yeah, that's the same circle we made earlier. Then I'm going to do a line so we can find the top point up to the circle, constrain it vertically, and we are done. Now we're going to do a loft from here to the top. And we'll go. And we are done. It's that easy. And now we can check inspect from the top point to the bottom plane and it's 125 millimeters as we did the dimension. And if everything is working, we should be able to go back and change with today's like uh, 36 millimeters. Finish sketch and everything changed the size. So everything is connected. That's a small easy one. Hope it's helpful for you. See you around.